Hey. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am in my bed and I just thought I always wanted to do something like just get cozy. Just get let's just get cozy and, you know, play with our a new deck or do something different, okay? So, I've been having issues with my back, my lower back, so I thought I would get cozy, get in my my favorite blankie, and uh, I don't think I've done a reading. I might have introduced this this deck. I haven't got into it too much. It's a little bit different than the traditional tarot, but the cards are so beautiful. So I thought we would have some fun and just like you're just here chilling with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look how thick the book is. It's pretty thick. So. I've read a little bit of the book, but I haven't got into the deck too much because it's a little bit different, but let's just have some fun, okay? <sighs> okay. And uh, I'll just take it how it resonates and we'll see what we get. Me, I'll read from the book too. So hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Let me do some stretches. Okay. Okay, that one fell out, so I'm going to take this one. The Maiden. And number two, yeah, so it's a little bit different than the traditional tarot. So they have the phases of life. I know that they have the phases of life, and this is the maiden. Let's get one more. What is the maiden? And then we have number five. This looks like the five of cups. <laughs> I always smell a new, a new deck. It always has a distinct smell. And then we've got three. Yep, I'm going to have to read them because it's a little bit different. Okay. So, we've got the maiden, right? It's like the maiden, the, mo the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Triple goddess. So, thank you for being patient with me as I try to find... The maiden, so it's the main tarot, I believe. So it should be over here in the beginning. Okay. The maiden, fertility, independent, self esteem, confidence, self expression, self exploration. Okay. Creativity. Dependence, key phrases, follow your dreams, discover your passions, focus on self-discovery, address self-imposed limits and restrictions, increased independence, seek your own answers. Yes, this is definitely coming up lately, like seeking your own answers and your and questioning uh, just for yourself, you know, doing your own inner and outer work. Um, discovery, self-discovery. So the maiden walks an unfamiliar path, but does so with confidence and grace. She has been taught by those around her and that it is not selfish or conceited to follow her dreams and actively work 
to manifest her goals and desires. She does so without needing permission from anyone. Much like her male counterpart, the youth, excuse me, the modern maiden is not afraid to ask questions. I was just saying that, wasn't I? I love you. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> um, asking your own questions, challenge the answers, and be the adventurous explorer. But while the youth explores new horizons, the maiden explores herself. Interesting. Yes, exploring her, herself, okay? So it's empowerment. It's increasing independence. She is fertile. She forms relationships. Okay, let me finish what I was reading. The maiden is equally interested in first discovering and then nurturing her interests and increasing her self-knowledge and exploring her waking sexuality. She forms relationships with healthy boundaries and expresses her sexuality with innocence, pride, innocent pride and confidence. When she chooses to take a lover for the first time, it will be done without shame or fear or judgment. If she chooses to remain alone, it is not because she believes herself to be undesirable, but because she does not believe that she needs a lover in order to be happy for or fulfilled. The maiden card is one of youthful confidence, empowerment, and increasing independence. She is fertile, but uses that fertile nature to create, express, and explore. She is on a journey of self-discovery, focused on learning more about who she is and what makes her happy. And she knows that her explorations in the present will give rise to a future self who knows what she wants from life and is not afraid to make it happen. In the past, the maiden was expected to do as she was told and to be true to the expectations of family and society. In the present, the maiden chooses to begin the journey towards self-awareness and empowerment. So there you go. That's uh, There's more. I'm not going to read. Oh, there's like... Okay. Yeah, so this is very in-depth tarot deck. Imagery is beautiful. That's one thing I always look for is the illustrations. Okay, so we did get this card, which I think is a water. I think this is the five of cups or like uh, water, five of water. Pretty sure. Yes, it is. So let's, 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 it came out. The energy came out for a reason. Okay. So five of water, loss, betrayal, fear, doubt, hopelessness, isolation, self pity and blame feeling alone and isolated. Okay. Um, without hope consumed by fears and doubts, unable to see a way forward. Trapped in the moment, feeling angry, betrayed, mourn your loss, playing the victim. So the five of water represents feelings of fear, doubt, and hopelessness that can cloud our minds and hearts and give rise to confusion, misunderstanding, and anger. These emotions are often born of our own pain or insecurities and can cloud our ability to see the love that surrounds us. All too often when we experience a moment of great hurt or loss, we can feel alone as if no one could possibly understand the depths of anguish. Okay, so this is a five of cups. It's pretty straightforward, like I said. So I feel like the energies um, points to some of this going on. It's like what I notice is these fish. It's like they're going towards her as like, all these little fish, this bright energy, so it's like kind of darker right here, this bright orange energy coming towards her to help her. And then we got number three. Actually, this looks like the three of wands, three of fire. So let's see. Yeah, because upper triangle, yeah, that's fire. Okay, so interesting. So we've got the maiden, feminine energy, five of cups, and then looks like the three of fire. Yeah, the three of fire, three of wands. Action, impl 
implementation, exploration, expression, energy, hard work, sacrifice, sacrifice, imitation, necessary sacrifice, um, put your objectives first, avoid cutting corners, pay attention to details, have you lost your direction, step out into the great unknown and trust. It reminds me of the fool card, like he's got his, his stuff and he's ready to go. Do you have an idea or creative venture that you would like to implement? The three of fire represents the necessary sacrifice that is, that is may be required when we act on our goals and objectives. When we first begin to act, we often find ourselves exploring our paths walked by those who came before us in order to discover and determine the best way to implement our ideas. However, the same exploration can inspire new ideas that break with tradition. Because something old has been reimagined and expressed by a mind with a unique perspective to make it relevant in the present. To implement those new ideas requires sacrifice, commitment, and dedication. It means stepping away from what is tried and trusted, safe and secure, and stepping out into the unknown. Okay. So stepping out into the unknown. So I want to get... Um, Let's get some more cards. Let's get uh, Spirit. Can you give me a card for the Five of Cups and all of that? We've got the Four of Cups. Oh, now we have the Four of Cups. I feel like with the way this imagery is, the way I way I'm feeling it is. But the Four of Cups is usually like missed opportunity or um, I'm feeling I'm feeling like a lot of like thinking about the past, a lot of reflection. I think we did have a lot of retrogrades going on and then the new moon and cancer. So emotions coming up and he's looking at. Wow, it's like. How I didn't see that before. Why didn't I see that before? Or something like that. That's a message that I'm getting with that. Like, why didn't I see this before? Or, um, because the way, I'm not going to read the, the book. I'm just going to freestyle on some of this stuff. Um, the way he's looking in the mirror, in this handheld mirror, but ha like part of his eye is gone, you know? Like you didn't see something. So I think that that loss, feeling at a loss for not seeing something and wanting to take action, move forward anyway with passion and determination. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Any other messages from the dreams of Gaia Tarot? This one. Love. Yes. Number 12, love. Look at how beautiful that is. All you need is love. Yes. So, any other messages? Reminds me of the Angel of Temperance card. Wow. Death, rebirth, after love. Major transformation. I need to get a third one. <laughs> I need a third one. Ooh, got the dragon number one. This looks like ace. This looks like, I think this is the ace of air. Wow. So we've got love with death and rebirth transformation in love and it's I think this is the ace of swords let's see yes it sure is I'm pretty sure let's check yep I was right it is the ace of swords wow so this is this is truth the ace of the ace of swords for me is like Clarity, deep clarity, like, oh, it's like I, I mad, like mad at oneself or sadness about not seeing something clearly or perception shift is what I feel. 
And then um, let's just, I'm going to read a little bit of the, the meaning from this, this card. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests that it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs. Reason we do have the rebirth death card, so that's perfect. And ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new and independently formed personal idea ideology. It is time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opinions born of societal conditioning, inaccuracies, and false assumptions, and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact, and genuine knowledge. It is also time to recognize both for what they are and learn to differentiate between the two. Its appearance in your reading lets you know it is also time to honor personal truths, personal truths that have foundation in your own experiences. Instead of embracing the truths of others, yes, this is definitely... Uh, going on it's like it's like looking again like oh wow I'm seeing it totally different now truth okay so learn to differentiate between the two it's appearance okay so let me okay Yeah, instead of embracing the truths of others and making them your own, to do otherwise is to wear an ill-fitting pair of shoes borrowed or stolen from otherwise or from another. While they may protect your feet, they will also pinch and rub and over time can do more harm than good. It's time to realize that to travel well and to go the distance, you need a pair of shoes that fit well because they are made for you specifically. It is the same with personal ideology. Your life experiences will offer Lessons that impart both practical knowledge and wisdom. This is an opportunity to embrace new paradigms and patterns and to replace those that limit and restrict you. New paradigm that, that, that came out in the galactic reading that I just did. Now you can change your mind and in doing so change the way you make the choices that determine your direction and shape your reality. You can cut away all that clouds judgment and perception and prevents you from knowing your true mind. Clarity will come with peeling away the layers of imposed dogma and beliefs born of past disappointments and hurts. The Ace of Air also symbolizes a time of feeling motivated and excited by the ideas in your head, your goals and dreams, because they are yours. It is time to take them and make them more. This marks the beginning of your of the individual individualization process we must go through in order to realize our fullest potential wow that is awesome okay so love which 10, okay 12 so we've got death and rebirth, which is ending cycles, new beginnings, transformation, tran trans letting go of the past. Yeah, maybe that's the five of cups too, is, is mourning the past, letting go, especially in divine counterparts. And what I've learned too is let, totally letting go of the past. And when you align to that 5D, to that higher love, um, everything else that has happened, it's in the past and that it's, it's it's totally transformed uh, especially when the the two counterparts have done so much on their own and healing and they come back and they're ready because they're aligned with their higher selves and when you align with your greatest higher self so much beauty is there and it's great so <laughs> um love there we go. Oh, wow. This is three. Oh, that's a sage. Okay. Okay, I'm getting there. Let's see. And I think... Love, infatuation, love for self, confidence, love for life, expansion. Experience love in all forms. Love is multifaceted. Your love will shape you or break you. Honor your body as a temple. Stop making comparisons. That's a good one. Love and enjoy your uniqueness. 
Do what makes your heart sing. Open your heart to new loves. Okay. Uh, there's there's so much to say in this book. Like, there's pages and pages. Uh, this is so beautiful just in itself. Like, I'm very visual, so I get lots of information just by looking at a picture. Well, there's definitely transformation in love because we've got, and we got the Ace of Swords, truth. Okay, so this Ace of Swords is truth and love. What else? So this is air. This is nine of swords. See, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. No, this is not. What is this? This must be pentacles or earth. Yeah, I have to look this up. <laughs> you guys are so great. I love my soul tribe. Air, this earth. This earth. Water. Well, you can you can always fast forward <laughs> the pause. I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Queen of Earth. Is, is this Earth? Yeah, this is Earth. So this is okay. So this is like Nine of Pentacles. Yes, Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. Altruism, generosity, charity, giving, receiving, self-love, a lot of self-love. Definitely the message is to keep coming out. The nine of earth represents altru altru altruism, charity, and generosity. Have you suddenly found that your life is full of harmony? You're creative and happy at this time? Abundance and true wealth surround you. Material possessions are less important than they once were, yet you want yet you want for nothing and have no need and or desire for more. Instead you choose to serve a higher purpose and give okay, so this one's talking about yeah, it's about service and purpose and um so and this is totally like twin flamey <laughs> energy. Uh divine purpose, soul mission, all that good stuff. Okay, this one. Okay. All right. And this is eight of, oh, we've got a lot of earth. Now we have seven of earth and eight of earth. We've got seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Hmm. So this is a lot of beautiful stuff. Stuff. You know, stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Totally, like, feeling connected. And I feel like a lot of Divine Counterparts, Kundalini is rising. There's something going on with that. We got 789 of Pentacles of Earth. So, and then the Eight of Pentacles is about working hard, um, dedication, You're dedicated to this path. Let's get maybe one more card, and then that's it. It's been 24 minutes. I've been talking for 24 minutes. Wow. Give me one more. So that's, that's a good, to me, when I see Pentacles, is also, it's like the physical. So things are physicalizing now from the higher. For what? Union. Okay, I think I ended at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Union. A union within oneself brings union in the physical. And especially being a twin flame to my counterpart, like it is, there's a higher purpose to the connection. 
can see. Oh, it's so beautiful. Union, divine union. Okay, I mean, I don't know what else to say. You want me to read, should we read it? I, uh, let's see, 10, this is 13, which is, should we read it? Let's see, union is union. <laughs> Wholeness, marriage, unity, connection, integration. We got love and union with the transformation card, with rebirth. Unity and wholeness. It's unity and wholeness. Unity consciousness. Love, union, death, and transformation. It's transforming. It's supposed to transform. Okay, I picked up this card. And this is what it boils down to. Choice. Choice. Which path to take, you know? Okay. Well, that was fun. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.